Uh, we have a supplementary <coughs> member for hearing. My supplementary question, and in line with the governor's proposition for foreign doctors to fill the gap in the, in the short to medium term, is that I'm, I understand the Port Moresby General Hospital is congested heavily, heavily congested, and, so, and more so there are 50 doctors who had, who had gone, or resigned and gone for elections. And just, it's going to take a while to get them back on. I also understand that there is a, an, an agreement with the Chinese government that provide, who provide um, doctors the, for the time being. I also understand that agreement is coming to a very close, draw, drawing to a very uh, a short closure. Is there plans to renew this uh, arrangement? If so, um, may, perhaps that could cater for 25% of that 50, those 50 doctors that have gone for elections in the short term. Um, that might be something that we might need to look into. But while we're talking about the, the drastic figures of um, patient to doctor to patient, um, the, there was a very good proposition put forth by, by, this, uh, by the Marper um, Basel government before the elections to construct a central province um, hospital. Groundbreaking ceremony was conducted, and I noticed from the <coughs> budget 2023 papers that 50 million kina was allocated. I'm not sure if we can build a hospital with 50 million kina. But what I do want to query is if there is a proposition, if there, is a, if there are works in place Honorable for member. financing. Honorable then, member, I will allow for your first uh, supplementary question. It related to the doctors, but if you are continuing asking question on the uh, central hospital, that's a new question that I would not uh, allow you to ask. At this speaker, I was, if you, if, if, if you will permit this explanation, it is very deeply connected to the question of congestion. And I was hoping to make that rationale. I'll allow you analysis. to refrain from that. Yeah. Thank you. For, for that, only for that purpose. Is there work in progress already so that people mm -hmm. understand that this is not just a, was not just another talk uh, fest, but there's works in progress and there's probably f f a financing uh, possibility, if there is the case, what's the status of that financing possibility uh, with the bilaterals that we're discussing with? Thank you, um, Honourable Minister for Health. I was hopeful that the Treasury Minister was going to be present to uh, answer this query. The Honourable Minister. <clears throat> thank you, Deputy uh, Speaker, and I thank the Honourable Leader for the good question. I think in, uh, in terms of the Chinese doctors, uh, we're looking at renewing their contracts. Uh, one of the biggest problems we have with this batch of uh, doctors coming to assist us is the language barrier. Uh, <clears throat> they usually bring their interpreter, but it, uh, uh, there's a lot of convenience issues associated with it. That, and we are looking at other uh, options as well. For example, currently we have a doctor from uh, Vietnam who's working in our uh, intervention cardiology uh, unit. And that doctor has actually done more than... Um, a thousand cases already of basically doing intervention cardiology procedures. And these are uh, very um, you know, highly technical procedures. If we are to send uh, our, our, our patients overseas, it will cost, for one patient to have a stand inserted, it will cost about 100,000 kina in the cheapest uh, regional hospital we have in, uh, in places like Manila. But this guy has already done, this doctor has done all, over 1,000 cases, basically saving this country close to 72 million kina. So looking at those propositions, we are looking at uh, bringing doctors from some areas where there's no language barrier and it's easier to communicate and all that. But uh, with the Chinese government's uh, offer giving us doctors, I think that we, we, uh, we hope to renew that in the coming months. In reference to uh, the central hospital, I think it's a good point uh, <clears throat> raised. Now we have... As, you all, as we all experience, uh, the level of congestion at the Port Mosby General Hospital is such that it's really difficult now for our, our doctors there. Uh, in the near future, we had, I mean, the recent past, we had some incidences where we have defense post personnel going, storming into that and destroying equipments, medical equipments. Uh, we had a lot of issues with our, uh, our Port Mosby General Hospital, and it is this government's priority project to make sure the central hospital comes on food so that it will relieve the congestion we face at the current hospital. So the government has already put 50 million in the budget this year, and hopefully we go into some partnership you know, arrangement with some uh, uh, bilaterals 
uh, look at loan arrangements. Uh, with the 50 million we have, I think uh, they're putting out a, <clears throat> a tender for the master plan, which will go out soon. And once that's done, uh, hopefully uh, we will uh, start work on the construction. 50 million to start off uh, the work at the, uh, at, the, at, the, at the hospital, the new hospital that we hope to build. And this is this government's proud to make sure that hospital gets off the ground to relieve the congestion that we face uh, at the current uh, hospital. Thank you, Deputy Speaker.